there are a lot of lorries already. At the moment, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lorries in here. Here comes another one, ready for this evening. It seems like the place to be. Hey, now we're in the groove. Ow, hot. Ow. More cheese, got on it. Oh, I've got a bad stomach. Time to go, time to go. of lorries already. Let's have a look. Under the tree, under the tree. Perfect. So as you can see from the title of the video, Tonight's stealth camp spot is actually going to be in what I would like to call is a secret lorry stop off area. I've been here once or twice before because it's in my local area so it's nice and handy to come to. We'll check out the parking sign because I've never actually looked at that but as I said I've stayed here a couple of times and had no problems but it seems to be a place where lots and lots of lorry driver and HGV drivers come to stay for this evening. At the moment there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lorries in here already and it's only seven o'clock and I'm sure as uh, the night progresses and the evening wears on, this place is gonna be jam-packed full of lorries. Here comes another one ready for this evening. And another one, <laughs> what? <laughs> Literally this is like lorry heaven. Where are they gonna go? Let's have a look. Usually, there's a few that park in here, like this guy there. God, it's really busy tonight. Maybe that's the next project, converting a lorry into a camper van. <laughs> or maybe not. These lorries are both from H.J. Jenkinson. No idea what that company actually is. But he's slotting in there, and this one is going down there. I've always wanted to have a look at the inside of a lorry to see uh, how the drivers sleep and stuff, because uh, I think some of them have got a pretty cool setup inside. Maybe one day I'll have the bollocks to ask them. It's a Ringo, up to 2 hours 40p. What timings? Monday to Sunday, 8 to 6 o'clock. Absolutely stinks in here. The food has been acquired. God, that smell. Thankfully, I've got some Febreze stuff somewhere. Here it is. Spray this about. This car park is very decent, I have to say. 
it's usually pretty quiet and uh, when I've stayed here once or twice in the past thankfully I haven't woken up because of the lorries starting their engine usually by the morning time all of these lorries that are here I don't know if there's any more that have arrived since I've just gone to do some shopping but usually they don't wake me up and it's quite funny because you can see all of the lorry drivers making their way into town to buy some food or to go out for dinner or whatever they do and tonight here is little old me in Mary in the camper cooking up some grub there is a few other campers as well down there this seems like the place to be Why not? Might as well chuck this in because I need to use it. How the hell do you peel an onion properly? I will never know. Oh no! Hey, now we're in the groove. Got some oil somewhere. Oh, and some bananas already. If you have not tried heck chicken mince as a spaghetti bolognese, don't knock it before you've tried it because trust me, it tastes bloody good. I absolutely love it. I don't eat a lot of red meat nowadays just because, don't know, gone off it. Um, not a vegan or anything, obviously, because I'm eating chicken, but I just much prefer the taste of this heck chicken mince, which you can only buy in Sainsbury's, I believe anyway. It tastes sublime. Lloyd's Grossman, tomato and basil. You can't beat it. That is the final product of the chicken mince sauce. Time to get this linguine fresh pasta in there. You're meant to chuck it in a wall, aren't you, to see if it's cooked, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Ay, you papa! That was obviously going to be hot, but I need to taste it. Ah! 30 more seconds and I reckon we're there. You need one of these foldable colanders. Absolutely brilliant. Ow! Hot! Ow! Ow! That looks bloody unreal, if I do say so myself. More the cheese, got on it. Bon appetit. Pasta linguine with some chicken bolognese with some cheddar cheese on top in the van. This oven hob thing is absolutely beautiful. I have to say it works an absolute treat. One thing I do need to invest in is some bigger plates. And yes, don't judge me, I'm gonna cut up my pasta simply for the convenience of trying to eat it. Ah, I flipping love this meal. I don't know how healthy it is, but can't be too bad. What's this one? Break, oh no, not break. Burke Bros Global Relocation. Oh look, you can actually see 
at the top of his cab there, I'm assuming that is where he sleeps. Residential business moving and storing services. Where's he off to then? Where's he parking? See, that cab area at the top would be pretty cool, I reckon. It's a sad life, isn't it, when uh, the evening's entertainment is pretty much just watching lorries drive into a car park and try and park. Oh, I've got a bad stomach. I know it can't be that chicken because I've had a bad stomach the last day and a half. Oh, God. Right. Thankfully, I've got the toilet in here. Oh, Christ. Quick. I'm going to shit my pants. Quick. Fuck. Right. See you in a second. I'll tell you what. That was a close call. Well, that's my neighbour for this evening. Going home, I assume. Right. Time to crack on. Put this all away. Do some washing up. Get out a book and, uh, I don't know, do whatever else I do in the evenings in the van, which is pretty much nothing and just chill. Ow, 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 ow. A clean home is a tidy home. Something like that. What's the saying? Lovely man. Doesn't get much better than that, does it? A nice, tidy home. Tell you what, it doesn't get much better than just saying goodbye to the outside world and shutting up shop for the evening if you want to see a video on these uh, blinds let me know because i can make a quick review um, about what i think about them because they were bloody expensive and i got slated in the comments um, for spending over 500 pounds on them but i think they're worth it um, especially for the convenience of actually living in the van 11 lorries and then there's about three or four campers including myself so anyway i'm gonna head off to bed read a book i was recommended this book by emma and neil actually no i wasn't recommended they gave it to me because they thought it might help me out because uh yeah i'm uh, up and down like a yo-yo mentally at the minute uh so i'm looking forward to reading this i've read the first 10 pages seems to be about the law of attraction and all that kind of stuff so we're going to carry on Read that for this evening, chill out, and then, uh, as I said, head off to bed and hopefully get a good night's sleep. Well, <clears throat> good morning. And welcome to a car park which is empty of lorries. Every single one of them seems to have gone this morning and now it's just jam-packed full of vans just like this no ticket on the front of the van but it is before nine o'clock or nine o'clock sorry eight o'clock the sun is out people have parked in the car park ready to go to work slept quite well although because i'm parked under some trees there were some noises going on on top of the van which i thought there was somebody climbing on top of the van in the middle of the night but it wasn't it was just the branches and leaves and all of that stuff making a load of noise but uh not a bad sleep not a bad spot that sunshine makes a hell of a difference not a cloud in the sky absolutely beautiful weather here in the uk for the next week oh what a way to wake up Ice cold, fresh water from the van fridge. Can't beat it. Cheers. One thing that I wanted to mention is, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you'll know that I've been having problems with my key fob. This is now the third key fob that I have paid to get programmed to the van. Um, now what happens is, Every time I get it programmed, it costs, what, 100, between 100 and 150 pounds. 
the key fob works for about a month and then for whatever reason it decides to stop working so now the buttons on my fob do not work at all it stopped working about a week ago after i got it reprogrammed for the third time and from now on i'm not even going to bother to continue to get it done because it's clearly an issue with my van and i have no idea why it's some electrical fault somewhere which is disconnecting um the reader or the connection from the key to the van i have no idea what to do about it because i can't keep spending 100 and 150 pounds for the key fob to work for one month and then for it to cut out if anybody has ever had these problems with a fiat ducato please please let me know because it's a right pain in the ass just makes it so much more convenient when the key fob is working so if anybody knows anything about that please let me know in the comments or send me a message on instagram please excuse my bottle of urine if you need one of these, link in the description, by the way. Bloody, bloody brilliant. They use them in hospitals for uh, patients. And uh, it's a good size hole to get your into. As more people make their way into the car park for the day, I'm going to make my way out. So if you guys have enjoyed today's video, enjoyed getting back to the stealth camps, getting back to the basics, then please make sure to smash the like button, make sure to subscribe and make sure to drop a comment and let me know where you think I should go next. I'm going to make my way out of here, crack on with the rest of the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for continuing to support me and the channel. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next video. Time to go, time to go.